Dexter is a five-axis robot arm designed to make a wide variety of things. To accomplish that, it must use multiple manufacturing processes and perhaps even multiple robot arms for making just one thing. This is not simply complex. We want Dexter to be able to make things we haven't thought of yet in ways we haven't thought of yet, or perhaps even no one's thought of yet. To have such versatility, we've chosen to make the descriptions of such multi-process jobs be based on JavaScript, the general purpose programming language of the web. You're looking at Dexter development environment. In the upper left is the JavaScript editor. You can type in any JavaScript expression, such as 2 plus 3. Click on the Eval button and see the result 5 in the output pane. If you don't know JavaScript, it's hard to know the correct syntax. The Learn menu provides help on JavaScript. Or choose from over 60 different examples to insert them. The largest JavaScript example inserts a function definition that takes two arguments, A and B, has a for loop over the B argument, an if statement comparing two numbers, and an output print statement. Option click on function to select it, then click eval to define it. Option click on a call to foo to select it, then click on the eval button to run that function to see what the function returns in the output pane. Here's our print statements and a final result. We can click on any character in the editor to get help on it, including spaces. Clicking on out shows us one line of documentation on it in the output pane. Click on the blue underlined out in the output pane to get more help over here in the upper right pane. Now that we've got the basics, let's simulate controlling a Dexter robot. Clear the editor by choosing New the Jobs menu contains more examples that you can insert. Example 2 is a simple job. We define a regular old JavaScript function that contains just one line of code, move all joints. It initializes the position of Dexter. Here's another function. The first call in its body also changes the angle of Dexter's joints. Each of the five arguments moves each of Dexter's five joints. These numbers are in arc seconds. An arc minute is one sixtieth of a degree. An arc second is one sixtieth of an arc minute, or one three thousand six hundredth of a degree. Dexter needs this precision because it is so accurate. Let's define that function.
The next instruction in this function is sleep. It causes Dexter to pause for 500 milliseconds. That's one half of a second. Our final instruction moves Dexter to a different location, specified by the x, y, and z numbers passed to the function move to. We then define an object representing Dexter. This simple one just has a name, my Dex, and a simulate flag of true. Now we define a job. By calling the job has a name, J1, the robot that we just defined, my Dex, and a do list. The do list contains the functions we defined earlier. We launch the job by calling its start method. This causes each of the instructions in its do list to be executed in order. The output pane shows the result of calling out. You can see a few of them in here. And the result of the finished job, which completed. We can see our robots pose more clearly by dragging the mouse in the simulate pane to rotate it. We can also create jobs that coordinate both robot and human tasks. Job example 6 inserts several of these. Our first example pauses Dexter to wait for a human to load more filament. Let's define that job. And we run it by calling its start method. This pops up a dialog box for the user. Clicking the Done button allows Dexter to proceed executing more instructions. Here's an example of running two different jobs. Here's job one, and this is job two. These control two separate robots. The sync point instruction, you can see right here, pauses the job that gets to the sync point first. We can see a similar sync point in our second job. A job can only proceed when all the jobs that have the same name sync point reach that instruction. The last example I'll show uses a human choice instruction right here to ask which material should we use? Let's run this job. The job pauses until a human answers the question. We have a choice of materials here. I'm going to pick silver. We continue the job by pressing the Submit button. The answer that we selected is available in the job's user data field. We can get the value of that 
by evaluating job material job user data. And this value is available for other instructions further down in the job or even other jobs to take advantage of. Dexter Development Environment has a ton more features, but you've already learned the basics.